Hey guys and welcome back to another Nordic Seafood adventure. Today I'm at the Danish West Coast and right over here there's some old bunkers from World War II. They look pretty creepy and scary and I really don't know what to expect. There might be some fish inside. I feel a bit nervous about it and I'll just take you guys with me so you can see how it looks inside. I'm gonna bring a torch and I'm gonna bring my spear gun as well if there's some big fish or sea monsters or whatever. Of course I'm gonna bring a float and a line. If I'm deep inside the bunkers I can still find my way out no matter what. Just follow my line. So safety first of all guys. Let's go for an adventure. Fingers crossed we find something. Let's go. Let's see if there's any fish. Big fish lurking in the dark, or maybe a sea monster, who knows? I'll get the torch ready, load the spear gun, let's go. Alright guys, let's go have a look. Next one, right here. Nothing inside. The visibility is surprisingly good inside, so hopefully there's some bigger caves than some of the other ones. Well, this one looks looks like the first one, so I guess there's two. Stairway. I'm ready. Just leave the spear gun here. Let's go have a look. Exciting. No big caves, no fish, no sea monsters. Well guys, I really don't recommend diving in caves like this. If you're not familiar with it, please don't do it. It's not deep, but still safety first guys. But I am a freediving instructor. I've been doing this many times. So please don't do this if you're not experienced with cave diving, okay? If you do dive in these caves on your own, please watch all the metal stuff. Always keep looking up a hand above your head so you don't get hurt please remember that guy if you do this kind of stuff it's really something special so let's keep going That is a deep one, deep cave. I am not going in there. That was just the other side of the same big bungalow, and there's a, a fully submerged cave. Wow! 
that is a nice, nice hole. I just get a good breather up and try to go a bit further. Let's take our time. Wow, that was a nice cave dive. And that is why I always dive with a line. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but when I turned around in the cave and came back, the bottom was stirred up and was pretty bad visibility. I could see some light, but I had my safety, my line. So just in case it got too murky, I will never dive without a line. But please don't do this at home if you're not experienced. There was so much bait fish in there. I'm pretty sure there could be big fish lurking in the dark. That was the spot of the day. That was pretty exciting, guys. Well, let's keep going. Remember, guys, don't do this without proper training. Take care, guys, if you try this at home. All right, I think this one looks really nice. So let's give it a go. That one, I'm not going into that one, you're gonna get hurt by the way, let's find another one. The final one. I'll just go to the other side. Well guys, I think this is the main entrance, so let's just have a look. Oh yes, yeah. that could be a big monster in there. Wow, this is the one. If there should be any fish or sea monsters, should be in these deep, deep holes. Really, really dark. Really, really exciting. The 
a bit scary but that is what it's all about it's about the adventure but if you know try you know win let's keep going Wow, that was a really nice cave. One of the best chances of getting big fish. Well guys, that's it for another episode. Thank you for watching Nordic Seafood Adventures. No fish today, no sea monsters, but it's all about the adventure. Like and subscribe for more content like this and see you on the next one guys.